Hello. So today we are clearly outside the tiny garden and we're actually in the new forest. And I'm here with Katrina from EcoTalk. So we're going to be looking at a really exciting upcoming land purchase for, for nature, really. So tell us a bit more about EcoTalk. So Ecotricity and the RSPB have of course been partnered for a long time, as you know. So when we brought in Ecotalk, Britain's most sustainable mobile network, it made the perfect partnership Ecotalk plus RSPB. So with the help of our customers, we've been able to buy a number of pieces of land already to give back to nature. So today we're going to take a look at our next piece. Yeah, let's go and chat to Richard, who's the site manager here. Right. So the New Forest is one of the most biodiverse national parks in the country. Uh, it's covered predominantly by lowland heath, but also a lot of uh, broadleaf woodland as well, uh, and some grasslands. And Franchise's Lodge Reserve, which now belongs to the RSPB, sits within that landscape. Some of the lands that we own at the moment is behind us, and then there's areas uh, that we're hoping to purchase that will link up to this area of land and it fits very closely within the reserve itself, but also to two sites of special scientific interest on either side of our reserve. One is Langley Wood to the north of us, which is mostly broadleaf woodland, and then also one to the south of us, which is the New Forest. You know, so different types of habitats there, woodland and uh, lowland teeth. And then across our site, which is Franchise's Lodge Reserve, uh, we have grassland and woodland, so a mixed mosaic, you know, and we're an important link between those. So any restoration we do will have a, a landscape scale impact. So Richard, what is the plan with this area of, of land to increase biodiversity? So this area of Halls Common, uh, which attaches obviously to the rest of the uh, reserve, we're hoping to increase the amount of water on the landscape and then also introduce uh, conservation grazing. Uh, with cattle and then that way that will change the sward structure um, of this grassland area but it also we hope to do that across the woodland as well. Uh, remove some of the plantation uh, Scots pines and uh, try and bring back more broadly species like oak and sweet chestnut. So how will this affect the wildlife in the area? Well that will uh, change the number of wildflowers across the landscape and hopefully introduce things like you know uh, bog type species and sundews um, and bladderworts, you know, so in terms of the vegetation that would change quite dramatically. Uh, also in the woodlands as well, the field layer there would change and, and hopefully we'll get more uh, diversified scrub than just rhododendron. Uh, and then in consequence for that, we will then get a more increased um, amount of invertebrates, you know, and that will also boost uh, the species, you know, of birds across the landscape as well. And so what sort of uh, birds might this, this new area, once it's developed, in, entice? We know we've got lesser spotted woodpeckers in this area, which obviously are very rare species. We're really hoping that they will find this area once uh, this area is wetted up with the woodlands on the, on the edge of it. Uh, this will be perfect territory for them. We've got goshawks in the area as well, so obviously this is again a perfect territory for them. Marsh tits are also elsewhere uh, nearby, so again these are all bird species that more than likely we probably see here. So I've seen a lot of rhododendron around this area. It's a real issue for us, yeah. It's really taken hold across the estate. And now that we're going to be a nature reserve, it's not the sort of species that we really want in our habitats. How does it impact the biodiversity? Well, it, it basically swamps the whole area and uh, wherever it grows, it cuts out all the lights and it raises the pH. So it's actually acidic soil underneath there. Not much else can grow. That's it, yeah. So really, if you look under rhododendron, there is nothing else growing there. Monoculture is definitely what we don't want on a nature reserve, is it? <laughs> no, that's right. We want a complex uh, number of species growing in an area, which obviously rhododendron uh, ponticum really doesn't help us to do. So it'll be great to remove it. Yes, it's really important for us to remove the rhododendron ponticum across from the site and um, that way you know we can boost the biodiversity of all the habitats and increase the number of species that are in the reserve. So Ecotalk's mission is to buy land to give back to nature. How is that making a difference here? It's going to make a major difference to this area of the landscape. It means that with the purchase, we'll be able to restore this area. Uh, otherwise, it would be left as uh, pretty poor grassland uh, and undermanaged woodland. Projects like these are really important in terms of boosting habitats and species and biodiversity. And we need more of them all across the country. And certainly, you know, that is the focus, you know, of the RSPB and yourselves and many organisations like, like us. And, and that is the emphasis at the moment with the government as well, that we should be thinking ahead of how we boost our habitats, you know, to support those creatures. And obviously your support really helps us to do that. So 
thank you so much, Richard, for having us today and giving us a, a tour around. It's, it's clearly really important to be buying this piece of, of Horse Common. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. It's really, you know, it's great to have your sports and we really appreciate it. So thank you. It's been so amazing to actually be able to see the piece of land that we'll be purchasing with the help of our customers, yes. of course, because this is what it's all about. This is the Bills into Hills initiative is taking the profits from our customers' bill money and buying the land to give back to nature. So to be actually able to stand here and see it and then hopefully come back in a few years time. Yeah, that would be great. And see how it's developed would be absolutely amazing. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you back and, uh, and you can see what we've done. It makes me so excited to know that this is really where my bill money's going. Like I, I knew about it, I knew about it in theory, but actually standing here and being here is really such an amazing opportunity. So thank you guys and thank you to EcoTalk.